Hello everybody, it's Mike Les here with another video. The week of March 6th, I had to go to Herford, Texas to work on a tractor. And while I was there working on the tractor one evening, I wanted to go out and visit a big feed yard in the area. And while at the dealer panhandle implement, they lined up for me to go out to Bargy Feed Yards, uh, just west of Herford, Texas. So we got to go out there the one evening and got to meet with Kevin, uh, one of the managers at the place told me a little bit about the operation. They actually have two different feed yards here. Uh, first one in the picture would be the main one. And I am told it has the capacity to feed up to 85,000 head of beef cattle. And just to the southeast of it, they had another facility that was capable of feeding up to 40,000, an additional 40,000 head. So it was a pretty big place. Uh, I was able to get a drone shot here, which was something I always wanted to do. I've been by a lot of these big feed yards from Texas up into Nebraska over the last many years, and it's just hard to get a picture of them. And I was finally able to ask for permission and get a drone shot of it here. So as you can see, just flying the drone back and forth, there is a lot of beef cattle at this place. Uh, and I know you can't count 85,000 of them, but that's what you're looking at here or the capacity to hold 85,000 head. So what they do, uh, I'm told, is they bring the cattle in at about uh, in the 600 pound range, 6-700 pound range, and introduce them to a grain diet, slowly uh, introduce them to grain to fatten them up for market. And I believe he told me they usually feed them up to about 1,300 pounds before they are shipped off for slaughter. Hereford, Texas is located in the Panhandle region of Texas, or just southwest of Amarillo. And the town of Hereford has a population of a little over 15,000 people, and it is the county seat of Deaf Smith County. A uh, couple things I was told about the, the area, the three-county area here, there's said to be over three and a half million head of cattle uh, in feed yards, and we did see some in pasture as well. Uh, it was March while I was here, so there were still some winter grazing or seen a lot of cattle grazing the wheat fields also and definitely a lot of feed yards. Uh, the area only gets like a little under 20 inches of rain a year so uh, this area is located on the Ogallala aquifer so a lot of the corn and the alfalfa and stuff grown in this area depends on irrigation. I'm also told there is a good many dairy farms in the area and ethanol plants. I was also told that this area at one time was a big vegetable growing area, but now it's pretty much uh, just crops for cattle feed and cotton. The drone shot that you're looking at here is one mile down the road from where I just popped the drone up the last place. So this uh, feedlot is one complete section. Pretty big, pretty big operation. Maybe one of the biggest uh, feed yards I've been to. Just driving by showing you some more of the operation. I didn't want to fly my drone over the animals and scare them. So as I was just driving around the place, just held a camera out the window and just showing you some more cattle. So now we are over here driving by feed yard number two. And in barns you see there is where they keep their horses for the pen riders and stuff. And we'll get past some more cattle here. So I'm told this section or this part over here can feed up to, hold up to 40,000 more head. 
I didn't get out here and get a drone shot, but uh, you can tell by the picture, this is a pretty big operation over here also. And circled back around and now we're coming back by the main office where probably a lot of the feed is made up and also you'll see uh, one of the loading docks and a bunch of the trucks and so on. So this was my second time in my life where I've been to the town of Hereford, Texas and got a video shot here of the Hereford Grain Company or the grain elevator that you'll see as you drive through town. Pretty big uh, typical prairie grain elevator that you'll see in Texas up through all the high plains states. And here's a shot of the Holiday Inn Express where we stayed at and the Hereford Cow statue and a meeting room called the White Face Boardroom. Or the hostile herd, which the high school goes by, there's a herd of white faces. Thanks for watching my video, and hope you enjoyed seeing a video of the beef capital of the world.